Hello YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, everywhere that I am. I'm back with a update to the DNA video that I did the other day. I've been getting some questions from you guys, so I want to go through a couple of things and kind of add to what I already explored in that prior video. If you have not seen that Ancestry uh, results video, um, I'm going to leave a link in this video and below as well so that you can see that but again these um, kind of additional details will give greater insight to some things that you guys asked about so some of you asked about what the process is like to get the sample so getting ordering the kit giving the sample sending that in getting the analysis done and getting your results back so I'm uh, also leaving a link to my blog post on this because it actually explains the whole thing but it essentially is a six to eight week process between the time you order the kit register the kit give your sample send it in get your results so it goes step by step through that as well in the blog post as well as linking to the video that I had um, to describe my results as well so that the one thing um, answering that question the second thing is a lot of people wanted to know what my maternal haplogroup is so that is L2A1 um, which is a mutation of sorts to L2 um, haplogroup and so L2 the origins of that the age of that kind of lineage or haplogroup is 55,000 years old um, in sub-Saharan Africa. So that's consistent with the DNA results that I got where 82% of my lineage of my ancestry is sub-Saharan African. And then there was 15, 16% or so that was British Irish. And then 1% or a little less than 1% that was uh, Asian and Native American. So again, L2A1, which is a subgroup of L2A, is my haplogroup. Um, the last thing I wanted to share was interesting to me to see that 23andMe thought it important enough to have a subset of the ancestry test to give a percentage of the Neanderthal traits that individuals have and let them know the percentage of you know their DNA that points to that so for me um I have less than one percent of Neanderthal traits in my DNA and so that is probably from the 15 to 16 percent uh British Irish or European ancestry that's in there that gives me that less than 1%. So I think the ranking that I have in terms of 23andMe um, testees, testers, um, is 99% of that population has more Neanderthal DNA than I do or traits or markers of that than I do. So I'm, you know, in the minority with not having much Neanderthal DNA, if at all, in my ancestry. So that was the last piece. The other piece is my apologies for the sound on that video. Um, got some requests to boost the sound, which I've tried to do, and it is to no avail. So I've added captions to that to help. So the full dialogue of what I'm saying is listed in that video. So if you have not seen that video and you want to check it out, you'll be able to um, in full detail know what I covered in it and follow along that way. So did you have any other questions for me? Definitely want to hear back. I'm getting lots of awesome comments on the original video. So definitely do add any further thoughts here as well and I'll get back to you. And as always, like share and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber of planet venus my uh absolute venus channel would like to see you as part of our community so do uh subscribe my one of my next videos actually i filmed it not too long ago so i'll post that soon 
is on meditation and the crystals I use for that. And I have various other videos spanning across my universe of things that I'm interested in and like to share with you guys. So just please, you know, do give me other suggestions of content that you would like to see and I'll bring those to you soon. So until next time, be well and peace.